Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday Meditation with me, Jill Pulowski, over here at Vitalia Strongsville in Ohio. Today, um, we want to talk a little bit about um, support and courage and um, maybe, you know, how hard it is to lean on someone else to support you or to guide you, um, how hard it is to ask for help when you need it. Um, and that goes for all of us. It goes for us that work here. Um, when, you know, we need a little extra help, we're feeling overwhelmed and oh, I could just do it myself, but we really want someone to help us. So it's a little easier and, and gets done quicker. Um, as people in general in life, um, maybe, you know, when you were raising children, so much work, so much to do, cooking and cleaning and laundry and, you know, getting kids to school and lunches packed. And it, it's a lot of work for one person, but sometimes we don't ask for help or we push help away. No, I got it. I got it. It's okay. So we want to, our meditation is going to be kind of guided through that support that we receive, that we allow. And, um, you know, the the courage to do so, or even the courage to get there so far on our own, and then still receive that support um, as we move. So uh, we'll start today, of course, with some movement of our physical bodies. Um, we're going to work on, on the hands, the wrists. So obviously, we get older, we get arthritis, our knuckles, our fingers, our wrists, all of the above start to ache a little bit. So I want you to first start by bringing our hands together like we normally do at the end of our meditation. And we're just gonna bend the hands from side to side. So use one hand to kind of press the other hand down and stretch that wrist. And then back to center and then other side. Use kind of that top hand to press over and stretch. Good, back to center, and then other way, stretch that wrist. This is also good for if you're working on a computer a lot, you start to feel that like carpal tunnel and the muscles and in the joints, it's not um, pleasant. Good, one more time side to side, press and hold the stretch. And then back to center and last time to the other side. Good come on back to Center we're going to take our fingers now and intertwine them so like you're holding your own hand <laughs> and we're going to just circle the wrist around so start to make little circles here. And opposite direction. You might hear some cracking and creaking in there. Good. And coming back to center, keep your hands clasped. I want you to push forward and spread those fingers open. You're stretching the palms of the hands <laughs> and then bring them back in and clench. Good, press out and stretch. This is also stretching the arms and pull back in. Good, again, press out and pull back in. And one more time. Press the palms and pull back in. Good. Unclench the fingers. Give your fingers a little wiggle. And then circle those wrists separately this time. One thing that we don't really focus on moving too much is the hands, the fingers, the feet and the toes. Um, and that's where we tend to get the most arthritis. Um, or sometimes 
gout. We had gout in the feet and that's this it's a form of arthritis and um, does not feel good. All right, palms up. Make your fingers as wide as you can. Um, spread them out. See, stretch in between every single finger and then go ahead and squeeze and make a fist. Don't forget to bring those little thumbs in and bend them. Sometimes we just keep them straight. So bend the thumbs and then open up big and clench tight. Good. Open up and clench. Open and clench. You know, as we do all this work in life, we use our hands a lot for all of those hard jobs. Taking care of people, taking care of the yard, working. So hands need some love too. They need some exercise. Good. One more time. Open and close. Good. And then give them just a nice big shake out. All right. So hands should be nice and loose. <laughs> uh, this will help us on our guided meditation um, where I'm going to take you today. We might need our, our hands subconsciously for that. So today's journey, um, as I talked about before, uh, is going to focus on guidance, support, courage um, as we move through our meditation today. So start to get comfortable. Lean back in your chair, relax your shoulders, relax your hands. Maybe they rest on uh, the chair arms. Maybe they rest on your lap or at your sides. So don't hold anything up. Just everything relaxes nice and soft. Nothing is clenched. Let your eyes gently close. Unclench your jaw, take your teeth apart from each other in the mouth. And start to pay attention to your breath, just the natural breath as it moves in and out through the nostrils. And feel the breath as it comes in. Notice the exhale as it leaves. And start to allow the breath to relax the mind. And let go of any chatter that's in the mind, anything that's going on that we're thinking about, that we're worried about. Let all of that go for now. Your body is relaxed. Your mind is relaxed. And you are open to visualize everything that I will lead you through. So the mind is open to see where we are going today. Picture yourself standing at the base of a mountain. Notice what you're wearing, maybe your hiking boots, some warm jacket, maybe you're carrying a backpack. See yourself here at the base of a mountain, all geared up, and ready to take that climb to the summit. Look up and see the mountain in front of you, how tall it is. See the rocks, the trees. Notice what you're feeling. Notice if you're feeling fear. Mm -hmm. 
Notice if you're feeling anxiety. Maybe you're feeling excitement. This is something you've always wanted to do. In our mind's eye, this is a safe place. And we are safe and secure as we climb. So begin to slowly walk. And start to climb up the mountain. There's probably a little trail that goes up. And picture yourself starting to move upward. You are currently all alone. And you feel this deep sense of strength that you can do this, that you can do this on your own. You have everything you need and you're ready to climb. And slowly continue to move up the mountain and notice everything around you. Notice maybe fern that uh, is on the side, maybe moss, trees. Notice the smell of the woods. Maybe the air starts to get cooler as you move upward. As you continue to move up, you start to feel a little bit tired. We're walking, we're hiking, our knees start to hurt. Maybe it's harder to breathe. The, the air is, is changing. And we continue to walk and start to slow a little bit. And even though we are pushing forward, we feel a little bit helpless in a way, and we need some support. So pause for a moment on the mountainside as we get closer towards the top and we see a much more rough terrain. It's getting rockier. Maybe it's a little wet, slippery. So look behind you and notice that there is a guide there. The guide has met you halfway to where you are and is there to help you along the rest of your journey. Look back and see your guide. Maybe it's a stranger. Maybe it's someone you know. A friend, a family member. Maybe it's someone from the past. Maybe it's God. So whoever your guide is, allow them to help you. They're there to guide you through the rest of this hard journey to the top of the summit. Continue to walk now with your guide, step by step, knowing that they are there to support you, to encourage you. Know that you can get through the rough terrain as you move upward. We feel the rocks underneath the feet. Maybe we need to bring the hands into it and start to hold on to things as we continue to move. Notice how you're feeling now. 
Do you feel a little less scared because there's someone there with you to help you? You're feeling a little less helpless because you have support. Allow them to lead you. Allow them to lend you a hand when you need it. Continue moving upward. Notice the sides of the mountain getting steeper. There's less to grab onto, less places to put your footing. But you proceed. Continue to walk with your guide. And then pause again here. Look up towards the very top of the mountain and know that you're almost there. You can see the top of the summit. You can see the clouds in the sky, almost as if you can touch them. Take a deep breath and begin to move back up the mountain, your final stretch, step by step, nice and slow. Hold the hand of your guide and know that no matter what happens, they've got you. And continue to walk embraced, holding the hands of your guide as you start to reach the very top. You're almost there. It's so close, you can taste it. A few more steps, you got this. And when you reach the top of the summit, you have made it. Stand there at the top of the mountain and look all around you. You're on top of the world. And you have your guide to thank for giving you the courage and motivation and support to get there. Feel strong and empowered in this moment here at the top of the mountain. Look around and see the earth below you, the trees, the earth, the birds, the animals, whatever you see. Maybe you see the sunrise or the sunset. Maybe you're just up there in the clouds, enjoying the fresh air. And as you stand here, give yourself a big smile. Even though you had support and a hand to hold on the way up, you still did it on your own. You still made it there. You could have backed down. You could have not asked for help and struggled a little more to get there. But here you are. Take a seat on the cool rocks, the cool mountaintop, and sit there next to your guide. 
and thank them. Thank them for supporting you. Thank them for giving you a helping hand. Thank them for encouraging you to keep going. And thank them for allowing you to take a little bit of a load off. You didn't have to struggle because they were there to help you. Take the hand of your guide. Stand up tall on that mountain. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you and your guide jump off the cliff and just float. Float and feel that freedom as you gently float back down to the earth. All the way down past the trees, the clouds, Gently floating down, still supporting each other, all the way back to the base of the mountain where you started. Allow everything to be let go of. And there you are again where you began. But this time, instead of feeling that anxiety and fear or the excitement of climbing the mountain, you feel strength, you feel empowerment, you feel peace, you feel freedom. Take a deep breath in. And a long, slow breath out. Stand here for one more moment, feeling all of those things. And then begin to picture yourself back here in this room, in your chair. Know that you are present here again. Know that you still have that feeling of support. And as we move into our day, as we move into our life, know that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to put some of the load on someone else. It's okay to ask someone to hold your hand in times of trouble, in times where you just need a little extra love. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes inside of your shoes. Give your head a little rock from side to side as we come back to this space. And then sit up tall in your chair. Let your hands come together in prayer at your heart. Let us remember today that we are strong and we are supported. We can ask for anything we need at any time without feeling like we're putting a burden on anyone else or without feeling like we are less than because we need help. Feel empowered in your heart and strong in your soul. 
I thank you all for being here with me today. I thank you for coming on this journey. Hopefully you feel a little stronger and you can go out there today um, with a smile on your face and uh, maybe help someone else. If you see someone struggling, lend a hand. Be there before they even ask. Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you again next Tuesday, same time, same place. Have a great day.